Once again, I'm William Brangham. In this hour, we're continuing our conversation on the importance of caring and consistent adults. While they say experience is the best teacher, some students don't have the advantage of an influential adult with college experience to help them navigate the complicated college entrance process. According to the National Center for Education Statistics, almost half of black and Hispanic students have parents with a high school diploma or less. That's where iMentor comes in. For the past 15 years, they've identified underserved high schools and have paired every student with a college-educated mentor to help them navigate the ins and outs of the college prep, application, and financial aid process. Here to tell us more about iMentor is CEO Mike O'Brien, along with mentor-mentee pair Debbie DeFord-Minerva and Julia Naomi Blue. Welcome. Thank you all for joining us. Thank you for having um, so us. So, Mike, I wonder if we could just start with you. Um, how did this idea of iMentor actually get started? Yeah, the idea behind iMentor was that we could partner with high schools and low-income communities where the vast majority of students would be the first in their family to go to college. And we could go into those schools and match every single student in the school with a mentor. And if we could do that, we could use the community to reimagine the counseling model in schools. And that's when you get to the point where you've got a depth of personal support that matches sort of each student's idiosyncratic journey in this process and what the kind of resources that a school actually needs to do this work. So we have one of these mentor-mentee pairs here today. Um, Debbie, I wonder if you could tell me a little bit about how did, how did you uh, land in this program? I like that there was a low um, in-person commitment. There was an emailing component paired with the in-person meetings. And um, it just seemed attractive to me. And it seemed doable. And then I met her in September of 2002. You know, she and I, we just loved each other instantly, just mm -hmm. on a personal level. But the, the mentor relationship stuck and it went somewhere and, and it did things for Julia. And there's, there's just nothing like it. It's fantastic. So Julia, what is it like the first time you're paired with a, with a mentor? What does that, what's that feel like? It's, I think, we were connected because uh, at the time I mentor matched mentees um, based on what they wanted to do for a living. And I was really into reading and writing and I wanted to be a writer. And she actually worked at Random House. So oh, it's a perfect match. It was a perfect match. And it worked out very well because on our first meeting, she brought a bag of books. So it's sort of like Christmas Day for a person like me because it's sort of like, here, hi, nice to meet you. And I initially went for the bag and we talked about the book. <laughs> and that's essentially how our relationship sort of blossomed because we had a very mutual interest in something really important in both of our lives. So did you need help getting the whole college application process going? I mean, was that, was that a need that you felt like you really needed some help with that? I needed it because I didn't think about college. Like it was not, right? it was not a thought. Um, no one in my family had gone to college. My mom had actually had her first child when she was in high school and then got married not soon after. So like going to college was not happening. And then Debbie and I had a conversation and just sort of came out in conversation like, so what are you doing for college? And I was like, I hadn't even thought of it. And I think that's where she really came in. She's like, we can do it together. Sort of demystifying the process of a course. little bit. Yeah. Helping you cut yeah. through the weeds a little. Yep. Yeah. Like, how do you write your essay? What are you going to write it on? Like, those were things that she was really helpful in doing. Like, I ran all of my essays through Debbie. So, Julia, you obviously took this ball and ran with it. Mm -hmm. You graduated from college. You got a great job with the Democratic National Committee, then a job with the Obama campaign. Um, and I understand that you were able to share a little bit of your great success with your mentor, what was that, what happened and what, what was that like? So um, it was basically a fundraiser. I did major donor fundraising on the campaign um, and at the DNC and I invited her to come as my guest. Uh, we always have sort of like tickets for family um, and it was just great to sort of see someone who had been there from the very beginning. It was a very emotional night. We both cried a little once it was done and I was just happy that I could share that moment with her. That must've been a very powerful night for you. It was, it was a shining moment, you know, it, I'd heard about what you were doing, right? But to see what you were doing, sort of fantastic. And not just to see her working, but to see her working with the leader of the free yes, world. Yes, Let's yes, not yes. forget. <laughs> right, right. That's a given. <laughs> I understand that your experience with Debbie and with iMentor was was powerful enough that you've decided you want to keep doing this, some work like this yourself. Of course. Tell me a little bit about that. What, what do you get out of this? Um, I was given so much. I think it's a travesty when you don't give back. 
and when you don't get back into the process. And I knew that I wanted to become more involved. I mentor, and I decided that I wanted a, men a mentee. It's been the greatest thing I think I've ever done because it allows me to get outside of myself and to spend my time investing in someone else. My mentee has gone through so much stuff. I see so much of my struggle in her. It is a very important relationship to me. Thank you again very much, and congratulations for a really uh, a remarkable program you've got going. Thank, Thank you for you. having us. Join the iMentor team. Log on to americangraduate.org and support this amazing organization by becoming a mentor yourself. From what we've just heard, you'll certainly get back more than you give. Stay with us.